Welcome to the TGS Live. T- you were going to say TGS Podcast, so I was. You? See? Was I, I, see? See? Exactly. Force of habit. Welcome to TGS Live. I'm John Brown. You're John Brown. I'm Keith Souch. And you're John Brown. And you're John Brown. I'm John Brown. He's Keith Souch. That's Sarah Haskell. Hello. He's John Brown. Apparently. Or am I? Yeah, who knows? I don't think I know. Hello. Hello. I've just been using this Hello. name for some time. It could be someone else's name. Dun, dun, dun. I got asked once if that was a stage name. John Brown. Who I know, right? Who would you say? Like, name? what's your real name? It's like that is my name. Oh, it's pretty common. Is that your stage name? No, no, it's not. It's actually my name. Anyway, now we've cleared that up. Okay. <laughs> That's a weird question. The history of John's name. The T-shirt is oh, yeah, amazing. Yeah. Love that. T-shirt uh, prototype. Yeah, so it's the beginning think. of the TGS merch range. Yeah. Yeah, which would be very, very cool. Uh, Do you like? You can check out some of our designs on our uh, page. On Instagram and on Facebook and on... Yeah, might even pop Twitter. a couple up. So here's this one, and there's that one, and there's that one, and there's that one. Is that one here? Yeah, well, why not, yeah. So and then, and then what will happen is they'll appear on the screen when you play it back. Like magic. Right. Yeah. The magic man. Yes, that'll appear there eventually, one day. Who knows? Maybe. Yes. So, we hope your week has been as interesting as ours. Yeah, it's not been a bad week. What's happened this week, you Sarge? Uh, we didn't have a storm today. That didn't happen. Oh, yeah, Florida that gonna, did. That was going to be happening, wasn't it? Yeah, that was going to be a thing today, apparently. But Florida did have one. All yes. Have one. yes. And it'll be bad. So, yes. all Thinking the best to you. And, yes. and stay safe, everybody. Love and thoughts and prayers and... All of those things. Mm. Stay safe. Yes. If you're watching Florida, don't be watching. Be somewhere safe. Right. So we talked about last week. Destiny came out. Yeah. Right. So you've been playing this, have you? I've been playing it a lot. Okay. So what's the drill? Um, I really, really like it. And considering how much grief I had with the first Destiny. Yeah. See, you're probably going to be the harshest critic. Mm, It's actually really, really good. Okay. Yeah. It's going uh, to review. Yes, confirmed. It's really good. Um, <laughs> confirmed! <laughs> you know, there's a couple of naughty things in there, but... But naughty um, as in, like, sexy, sexy time, or... Uh, sexy, sexy time for, like, Bungie's bank account. But... <laughs> <laughs> so, but one of the big uproars of the game um, is they started charging for shaders, which changes the colour of your... You can pick up shaders throughout the game just by playing the game, but you can buy um, a thing that will give you a shader which is fine until you realize that you can only use them once and once they're gone they're gone so then you'd have to buy them again and there's no chance there's not a big chance you'd get the same one again unless you buy one no no, no they, even even if you lottery, buy one it's a lottery basically oh. you know like you pay and then you get a random pack it's like a card pack you don't know what you're gonna get Except for, yeah. well, if you buy cards or stickers, you get to keep those cards or stickers forever. Of course. But in this case, you don't. So then people who like to put clans together and all dress the same, if they manage to do that, it's, it's not going to stay because you might get some new armour and you can't move the colouring across to the new armour. Oh. Sounds Which, a little bit naughty. It's very naughty. My thoughts actually. exactly. So um, cool. Bit of a rip-off uh, for that. Hmm. But generally, um, overall, I find the game... Works really, really well. And it does give you an opportunity to get... I've got tons of shaders. But, again, I've now got a suit that I really like, which I've coloured in and all the rest of it. But if I get better, more powerful armour, I'm going to lose that. So, How many hours of playtime do you reckon you're going to get out of this bad boy? I don't know. Uh, Ruben racked up 69 days on wow. um, like the first Destiny. So... It's quite a lot. I racked, then. I racked up um, one day and twenty hours or something like that, and Ruben racked up sixty nine days. Did he just sit there and play like? No, that's over two Co- years. Over yeah, two years. Yeah, so but I'm six... saying you. He got sixty nine days over Did those he? two years. Yes. And you just said you had one day, or is that just one day for this new game? No. Um, 69, dude! I've got one day, 20 hours of play. Out of that. So if you were to take all the minutes... That it would yeah, up yeah. You. Oh, over two yeah, years. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Over two years, so one day So one your, day your hours. one hour... Um, one, day, one day, 20 hours, 20 hours yeah. versus two years. 
69 days. Dude, yeah. Sorry. That's a big difference. Yeah, but over two years, it's not a lot, is it? Is it not? No. Bear, he really, up, really, up, really, bear really, 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 really got like 67 days. days more than you. He really, I'd really, 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 time. really liked that not game. Really, though. not over the course of two years. It's only two months out of two years. Still quite a lot. So if you were to work that down to days, like, it's, it's not even an hour a day. Maybe. But it's not. It's mathematically not. There's no maybe about it. It's maths. <laughs> <laughs> But but nonetheless, he really, really liked the game. And yes. you weren't as in love with it, I suppose, in yeah. that respect. And the, you had many things to play. Yes. I always, <laughs> I always, the thing is with Destiny is it lost me on the basis of what it did back then was you can only upgrade if you found light, which gets confusing just describing it as that. And that was something that you found randomly. So you got... You earned your upgrades up to a level 20, and then if you wanted to go further than that, it was based on random like finding of stuff. So there were people that hadn't been playing as long as I have, or as much as I had, who were way more powerful than me because they were just lucky enough to find something in this random lottery. So it wasn't skill-based, like, it was random. Yeah, and that, that was like, right, all right, you've lost me. That's, that's, that's me understandable, done. understandable, though, I think. Yeah, because I think a certain amount of it should be skill-based. <laughs> like, 90% of it should be skill-based. And then there was the whole... And they fixed that now. Paying for Completely. things and um, keep repeating, bringing more stuff out. Yeah, and, and I refuse to pay for like um, anything other than major content. And like their first set of DLC, which I bought, um, which I pre-ordered with the season pass, and then it gave it to me. But because I wasn't powerful enough, it wouldn't let me play. And I can only become powerful enough by playing. By Accidentally finding things. So catch twenty two. So, <laughs> I'd paid for something that I couldn't play. They eventually just... they fixed that, and I did eventually get around to playing it. And then it still wasn't the content that it should have been. It wasn't anywhere near forty pounds worth of content. They just loved the money. So I was like, "Yeah, you screwed me." And it wasn't until this Reaver spent quite a lot of last... cash on it, didn't he? It? It was... Yeah, it wasn't. In the end, once everything had come out and some time had gone by, like I managed to pick it up basically for nothing so I, I then went back to it yeah but by, by which point everybody was a lot more powerful um, but they fixed all the stuff like I could then earn my way back up which I eventually did I, I level capped again through earning which is it, a better way of doing it it makes you feel like you did something you yeah. know it gives you something to drive thought why bother when like you could play for five minutes and then find something that makes you ultra powerful it's, that's stupid mm. so they fixed all of that mm -hmm. so I'm pleased they fixed all of that. So, so, comparatively, how does the second one weigh up to all that's come before? They've learnt a lot from the first game. From their mistakes? Yeah, big time. Mm -hmm. uh, Nathan Fillion's back um, with his voice work. And again, you put Nathan Fillion's voice in anything, and that makes it very entertaining. Uh, dude from Fringe and other stuff. He's in loads of games, like Quantum Break and all the rest of it. But he's back. And... Uh, What's her face from Suits and Firefly as well? Oh, I can't think of her name. But anyway, she's back as well. So, good voice cast again. Um, there's someone doing a bad impression of Terrence Stamp. There's Terrence Stamp in the first one, then. He was in the not, first one. Not in this one. Yeah. I'm assuming it's not Terrence... Maybe it's Terrence Stamp, I don't know, with, like, severe... I don't know, a cold or something. But I'm <laughs> pretty did, sure it's yeah, not maybe Terrence Maybe he did Stamp. have a cold that day. <laughs> it's a really bad impression. You know, it sounds like an impression. So... But yeah, oh dear. That's, but it's got more story this time. Mm -hmm. um, at least, you know, I say more story. It's got a story, uh, which is still more story than was in the last one. Instead and of random It's not the most in-depth story in the world, but it, it is a story and it gives you something to aim for and it gives you a reason to play instead of before sure you were dead and now you're alive and now you've got to be a warrior. That's, this com there's a narrative and a structure to it. Mm. Yeah. Good. It's you know it's lacking in new um it's never new really... villains they're, they're basically just the old villains with a uh, palette change no. mm. which See, again I'm, a bit lazy. I haven't got all the way through it yet but I'm assuming that that's going to continue to be the case uh, yeah basically they've just gone oh look we've got all the uh, legionnaires from last time we'll just make them red 
and we'll make them the bad guys and we'll just call them the Red Legion. I've never really been sold on it. It's never really appealed to me, but I understand... You would enjoy this one. I understand its appeal in that it's hugely, hugely popular. And because of your love of Halo, like yeah, proper original Bungie Halo trilogy Halo, mm-hmm. you would love this. It plays so much more like that right. than current Halo does. Okay. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. I mean, I think I said last week, my exact words were, the first person shooter has died. The, yeah, that's that's pretty much confirmed. What that's pretty much what I said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is last a, week. This is an MMO, like a massively multiplayer online, online game. game for first person shooting, and somehow it was breathed life into something that I thought I was done with. So that in itself is a big up I give it a solid 8.5 8.5 out of 10 for yeah. Destiny 2 yeah it's not bad definitely worth checking out it's available now on all, um, on all platforms no, if it wasn't the main... for the microtransaction um, controversy I probably would have given it a 9 9.5 but that whole thing deserves to lose a point because that's just Time. ripping people off it's I fuckery mind, I don't mind you charging well, I do mind you charging people for stuff like that but it's stuff that doesn't affect the game. I hate it when they charge you to pay to win, and there's none of that going on. But if someone pays for something and they, they get it, they should be able to keep it yeah. forever because they paid for it. So it'd be different if the ones you find, right? If they did it like the ones you find have only you got... You could only have 24 hours. Or, 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 or like, it, it, until you lose another usable. one. Yeah. Right. But the ones you purchase that come from a purchased silver like currency... Mm-hmm. You should get they to keep them. Yours. As oh, that's fair. And that would, that would actually encourage people to buy them. That's fair. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think that's a fair compromise. Yeah, yeah. I think I'd so. still rather the ones you find you get to keep. But if you're going to do it, there's a fair compromise. Look, you can change all these, but look, you can buy this one and you can keep it forever. I think that's that's fair if you're going to... There's nothing fair about fucking microtransactions, what we're talking about. But that's the better way to do it than what they've currently done. So, listen up. 8.5 out of 10. Very respectable score, nonetheless. Point. <laughs> Naughty. Talking about multiple platforms, actually. Okay. Uh, you had some interesting news from our friends at Rockstar this I week, did. didn't you? Um, L.A. Noir is going to be making its way to Xbox One. It's uh, a great fucking Four, game. Steam, with a new updated version. Obviously, it was available on like, PC before. Mm-hmm. So it's going to have a... A whole like work over so it looks nice in the new systems and there'll be um, a couple of additional things that weren't there before which would be nice and again it was a quality game of course it's a quality game it's a rock star game um, they only make quality games so I'm really pleased about that I think it's coming to Switch I heard somewhere that it was yeah I haven't managed to get that confirmed from anyone not but... confirmed <laughs> not confirmed but I'm assuming it's Probably at least I don't know. Rockstar Games. The last time they were on the on any Nintendo um, platform, I think it was Manhunt, Manhunt Two, and then that got banned. The, I was going to say the banned Manhunt Two. Yeah. So uh, there's banished. A, there's a bit of a gone forever. There's a bit of a strange history between Nintendo. And, no, no. The last time they did anything was, was probably uh, Grand Theft Auto Chinatown. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Which was only available on the DS for quite some time. I remember But this generally, one. Rockstar don't release on Nintendo because Nintendo has got this kind of family policy feel about it. Yep. Whereas Rockstar definitely do not have a family orientated feel about them. No, they are, well, most of their games are 18 rated. Um, there's also um, unconfirmed news, but I'm, I'm pretty sure this is happening. Uh, Bully 2. It's oh, oh, right, okay. Yeah. yeah. You know, Bully, that was an interesting game. Yeah, that was a game that people complained about because they didn't play it. Like, it's, oh, this promotes bullying. No, the whole idea is you were taking down all the other bullies. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like that idea. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a hero story. Yeah. As, as, as He's a bit rough and tumble, but generally he took out all the bullies, including like bullying teachers, bullying pupils, people in the town and all the rest of it. But and you just find a way to take I them all down. Aren't a lot of rock star yeah. stories about kind of anti-heroes though? Yeah, anyway, definitely. So, yeah. 
It's, it, that's, and then there are people going, oh, look, that. he can choose to fancy a boy, and that's wrong. It's like, it's not. <laughs> it's well, perfectly fine. Like, welcome welcome yeah, to the modern fucking that. world. Oh, yeah. oh, which leads us nicely into things that people think are wrong, but think about it, it's just perfect. Okay. And that brings us to, well, Matt and Trey. <laughs> What have they done now? God bless them. Okay, so, as we talk to this second, we are five weeks away from the <laughs> You've the just fucking butthole. jinxed it. You've jinxed no, no, it right no, no, there no, no, just no, by no, saying no. it. Every there time we spoke about everywhere it. everywhere for this. They are putting out all the things. They are getting people to actually play it and talk about it. And the first thing everyone noticed was there's a difficulty slider. If you oh, want the game to be oh easy... You are white, and you get darker in skin tone the harder the game gets. And, it, and then Cartman explains that it it's won't, it, yeah. it won't affect combat, but it will change the way people treat you in real life. <laughs> and that is... Like, and people got, some people are in uproar. But essentially, this is just That's South what Park they do, holding though. up the Black Mirror... <laughs> This is, so you the can't country be, is in. You this, can't be offended against people that have done this for, what, 20 odd years now? Yeah. Yeah. But it's still yeah. a difficulty slider based on your this skin colour. This is before the game started. That's... They do like no. to push it, though, and All see how far they can. All it is, it doesn't affect the game. Right? Okay, It just allows you to choose your ethnicity. And then they just make in the point... That people tend to treat people of a different ethnicity, <laughs> ethnicity like shit at the moment in America, which you can't deny. Is everything tr- that's that's fucking true. happened in the it's last It's actually few very weeks. accurate. And from what they I hear, have... they have only recently added this as a feature, upholding their theory that they are, you, you know, American television's black mirror. They are. They are. They are. Right. Yeah. And then, <laughs> no more than a couple of seconds later, in your character design and character selection. You can choose the sex of your character. You can choose, like, boy, girl, or other. I think that's fair. Okay. Uh, I like that. And then you can choose, if you choose other, you can choose uh, cisgender or transgender. Right? And if you choose transgender, the second your character walks out onto the street, he will be mobbed and kicked the shit out of by a load of rednecks. He or she, or and she. (laughs) <laughs> Which again, as cold is as that sounds, a fucking commentary on fucking society. Social at commentary. Large. Mm. It's social commentary. <laughs> That's you're not even five minutes into the game and these two things happen. So fuck knows what is in the deep cuts of this game. We know for a fact there is a scene where you uh, get to beat up um, two paedophilic Catholic priests. Oh yeah, and they're, they're what's that? Oh yeah, word one of them called? pulls um, anal beads out of yeah, his. Yeah, um, starts like is it? There's a word for it, isn't there? Where the Catholics whip themselves. He starts Paul Bettany in himself. Yeah. After with and the anal despite, beads. Despite the fact that I've played the first game all the way through, why is any of this surprising? I was just going to say, if it's coming from those two, you can't be surprised. The first game is phenomenally clever and comedic all at the same time. They're taking it to a different level. Um, I I should say it's infantile, but at the same time, very on point. Hmm. I can't wait for this game. I say anybody that's taken offence to this. Don't it isn't to... meant in, in offence, it's meant in defence. Mm. It's, it's calling out everything of those, that's going of those on, in which it? it of, of those in which it seems to humour, actually it's their in defence of their those point that everything they do is, yes, this is fucked up, but this is what is happening in the world, this and is, yes, it is fucked up. You think this is fucked up, you should, you should check out real life, so, yeah. basically, is yeah. the message. So we are five weeks away from that, and I cannot wait. I've had mine pre-ordered since the moment... They announced what it. was that, three years ago? Three years ago, yeah. So it best come out. I'm going to have to revisit the first game, actually. Hmm. I'm, a very, I'm, I'm keen on the idea of the second game, though, despite all those things. Uh, I think it's... So, and don't, you lap, don't the kids, don't the boys have to lap dance? Strangely, yeah. though, men, it's a game men. that's amusing yeah. and entertaining, but also you learn things. Yeah. Subliminally, through, through, through infantile comedy, they are giving you an important yeah. social narrative. Yeah. Mad to think that's how it is, but that's Nobody how else it is. Get away with it. 
No, no, nobody else. Ooh, no. You know, they've they've, they've, they've avoided. Right. They've got it down to it. They, they've got it down to yeah. a fine art now, I think. And they know exactly um, what they're doing. Yeah. You know, these are gentlemen that turned up to the Oscars in dresses on acid, uh, and got away with that. So yeah, anything's possible. And got away with that. They told everyone they did it. Yeah. <laughs> everyone can see them in dresses. And they were <laughs> definitely on acid. Yeah. I'd really oh, to were meet they, them. Were they, they, well, they, they definitely were definitely off their nuts. Yeah. They I, were off their you know what? They, those are two people I really would like to meet and just sit down and, and have a chat with. Just an everyday they combo. Just do, they just do things. They're not. I had no idea they were going to win. They're no. <laughs> they, they're not aware. Well, they are. They're very aware of what they're doing, but they're they're not held back by kind of invisible <laughs> creative yeah, barriers. That, going, oh, maybe I can't do that. They just fucking do good, shit. Yeah, and that's the thing. <laughs> and this is this is what we've said all along. And that's In a comedy, testament. If if you take out everyone, then no one could be offended by yeah. You know, if you're yeah, don't be offended by the fact they're shining light on this stuff. Be offended by the fact that this is real fucking like life. That it's stuff. happening for them to be able to do it. Yeah, they're yeah. using they're using that medium to deliver the message of actually these things really happen. Yeah, and you think this is twisted? You need to walk around and with yeah, with so open eyes. It doesn't affect the game. It just affects the social commentary. Also, um, the way people talk to characters is going to be based on, um, in the game, it's going to be based on race and gender as well. There will be slight differences. So, Inter- I'm intrigued to play it. I, yeah, I, 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 really, I, I yeah, want to play I it. Am. It sounds like I'm going to have to play it through a couple of times, with different races and genders. Yeah, I think I think we should definitely do... Full story. We should definitely do a playthrough of that. Oh, we will be doing a full playthrough. Excellent work. Also, yeah, actually, we... we the day of, actually. We've got we're going to see how far I can get through on that day. We're going to see if we can do it all in one go. Well, we're going to... Also, this is, a, <laughs> this is a brilliant kind of tease to the fact that you and I are going to do some playthroughs, aren't we? We some are. Nice. We've got, yeah, uh, we've got a couple Dragon Woo-hoo! coming. So, like, we're going to do some arcade classics. Yeah. So continue on our arcade we're classics. Start You're going arcade. old school. Yeah, so if you haven't seen any of the arcade classics, they are definitely not... For children, yeah, we, uh, started, but, we started with Final Fight. Yeah, check that out. Uh, and through Final Fight, we spent the whole time talking about Double Dragon. Um, and then so, probably we could find that it was Double Dragon Neon. Um, but so now we can get hold of the original Double Dragon, which is available on the PlayStation Network, and Double Dragon Two, and Double Dragon Two. So no we're gonna three, no Rosetta Stone. So we're, oh, that's a shame. Mm. So we're going we're going through those two next, and then obviously we'll continue this. But our kind of series, it's of, a weird title, the Rosetta Stone, because it just makes you think they're learning a different language. That's what I thought, yeah. Well, the Rosetta Stone in mythology makes people understand everything. That Which makes a lot more sense now, then. Named the I understand it. Rosetta Stone. Yeah, there you go. Does it help you understand new why, why, why two people would go through an entire game and then beat the shit out of each other at the end? Yeah. Does it help you understand that? There we go. Deeper cuts than the Gothic team. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> ouch. You can't say ouch. We just did, like... <laughs> Sliders based on ethnicity. Ethnicity. Ethnic. We're not even going to go on to those. No, we're not. No. No. You've got something against ethnic titties. No, I've got nothing against ethnic titties. There we go then. John likes the boobies. I'm male. And true, bloody. yeah. Why <laughs> <laughs> yeah, enjoy that, cleavage as much as the next man? There are gay people that like boobies. Yeah, exactly. Boobies are cool. And not just lesbians. I'm talking <laughs> 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 oh, oh, as we head no, deeper you're, into you're, Shit Creek, you're, you're paddleless you're right. <laughs> on our raft. Wait, so that was quite a lot of game news. That was quite a lot of game news. Was there more? Um... Any more for any more? Any more game oh, news? Current, uh, we got current traverses uh, about current traverses who, who like us review games. Yes. What's current traverses yes. mean? It, it's a controversy that's current. Currently. Oh, okay. Current right. Current traverses. Okay. Right. New word uh, confirmed. <laughs> people are complaining uh, about this guy who uh, reviewed mm. Cuphead, and uh, you know the upcoming like, mm. Xbox One exclusive. But it looks like the 1930s cartoon. Yes, 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 right? yes, yes, yes. I'm with you now. Yeah. And he spends about five minutes just, well, say about, that's an exaggeration. He spends about a minute and a half trying to jump up one platform in the tutorial. Mm-hmm. And he's supposed to be a game reviewer. And people are like, shouldn't game reviewers at least be half decent at games? Yeah, kind of. That's why like, I don't review games. Yeah. That's exactly <laughs> what I said. Exactly my point. Yeah. There is a reason John reviews film and I review the games. Like John enjoys the game. 
anymore. I'm a better there. gamer. I, I, yeah, there can you I, go. Can I he's the game. He's the professional gamer. Okay. I'm just a gamer. So you review films. I do. Mm-hmm. You review get games. 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 Films. Games. Yes. Films. Games. Films. Ga- what can I review? Um, I don't know. Washing machines. Oh. <laughs> Can I stab people live on air? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you best be joking, mister. <laughs> Every woman that was watching this just has gone off. No, they're sharing it because they look, look at this asshole's head. <laughs> like well, you. I'm going to find something to review and I'm going to come on next week and I'm going to give you my review on it. You see the headline now on BuzzFeed. Like. The headline's on BuzzFeed already. Yeah, Chauvin- books, Chauvin- we got Chauvin- books, we got music, we got Chauvinist you- bastard Shane's girlfriend on podcast. <laughs> what you, you guys tell me what 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 can I review? Give me some ideas. I want you to can review-, review this piece of uh, what appears to be Amazon packaging. It is Amazon That's packaging. very good. Hey, it is, see, yeah. I, no, actually, I'll be the package reviewer. Yes, yeah, so I was just saying, pretty good at that. <laughs> see, I can't even do that. Well, there's some there's some chip chops over there. Oh my! Do you want to see this? It's sweet pretty cool. Reviewers. Oh yeah, sweets. Oh. 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 Okay, it looks it's like a bunch my, of flowers. It is. It's my bunch of flowers from. It's a bouquet. From, it's a bouquet. Look at that. That's awesome. And that was from my baby brothers for for my birthday. So, that's awesome. I like yeah, that. Yeah, I love it. Every year they find me a random chubba chops thing. Hmm. You had the giant. I had the massive, massive one a couple of years back. So chubba chops, thank you, and keep making cool, cool stuff. stuff yeah, like look this. at that. That's amazing. Yeah, I quite like that. You can do whatever you like. <laughs> the yeah. I will find something. Yeah, Don't find something. Worry. There's all kinds of cool stuff. There's yeah. comics. Yes. There's like music. Books. There's music. Yes. There's find your niche. Yes, yeah. I will. But if you have any ideas, let me know. <laughs> food. Yeah, yeah there's food. Coins. Chocolate. <laughs> okay. I like. Oh, Addis got a new mop house. Donuts. <laughs> yeah, donuts. What is the best donut? If you're going to go down as a chauvinist bastard on the internet, I'm going with you. <laughs> <laughs> Can't let you face that kind of hell alone. Yeah. Anyway, no. Maybe I'll review it. you two as... as Idiots. Idiots. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to do my own review yeah. on you two. Idiotic chauvinist bastards. Yes. That sounds like a great idea for a, for a game or a band. Well, one of them is very small and wears sunglasses. <laughs> the other one... Like, Likes to play guitar, and then there's the other two that just sort of in the background, and they're Irish. Isn't that the Beatles? No. <laughs> so this is going to yes. review you too. Yes, it is. I'll review. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Puns. We got them. That was bad. <laughs> no, 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 don't start on the puns. Because then no, John has to beat you and then it all no, gets you. No, no, we can't go there with the puns. Right, so is that, is that game, game news? news done, yeah. Last game news. Oh, no, we didn't, we didn't, should, we didn't answer the question. Should what question? <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. Should game reviewers be at least half decent gamers? Well, of course. Okay, no one's asking them to be, to be experts. No, but, but to you have should, some if you're knowledge gonna, no, if you're gonna, and... And skill. I think if you're going to be a correspondent at something, which is essentially what a reviewer is, you should be versed in the knowledge of mm. your subject. Because otherwise, how can you have a, a solid opinion on something that... I watch 600 oh. films a year. 600. On the flip side of that... This makes me qualified. If you were to announce yourself as a crap gamer... And like, then... And then reviewed stuff... That's fine. That's fine. I Don't. think we just created a new feature for me. No, no, no. It's <laughs> Conan O'Brien's been doing it for ages. He's a no. gamer, doesn't he? Uh, oh, right, okay. Uh, in fairness, though, I'm not a crap gamer either. Yeah. I'm just not. I am, though, so maybe, yeah, maybe I could do that. Yeah. Girl, girls do game. No, let's not go back down that road. Yeah, because there are yes. plenty of girl gamers that kick your ass. <laughs> there are, by the way, there are some amazing girl gamers and amazing girl gamer podcasters as well. And um, so there's that BBC story earlier this week. Oh, but saying that, saying that, I'm not reviewing stuff, but I am going to be starting doing some new videos, aren't I? You are for yes. you guys. Um, and it is kind of for the more girly side because you know you are male, and it's we want to get the girls involved for a change. We do. We don't know what girls want. So, women, men we're, have never known what women wanted since in the, the history time. of ever. Really nope. 
So nice. yeah, I'll be starting some new videos soon yep. to do with cosplay and stuff. I'll so. find the answer to the meaning of life before cool. I find the answer to women. Yeah. I believe are they that the same thing. Women anyway. are life. Yes, yeah. we give life, therefore we are life. Mm -hmm. I yeah. like that answer actually. We'll that made me sound too. very. Um... <laughs> anyway, <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't finish that sentence. No one Oh. Anywho. So, yes. so film. Film. Filma. Uh, there, there are, in the UK, if you're watching this in the UK, there are three movies uh, opening this weekend, one of which three. has pretty much dominated everything, which we'll get around to in a minute. But let's let's start with the smaller one and work our way up, uh, being Goon 2, Last of the Enforcers, which you have seen. Yeah, I'm like the only person in the world that wanted to see this movie. Well, you really wanted be, to see I really like the first one. Oh, yeah, it was funny. One. Yeah, I really yeah. like the first yeah. one, but first I've favorite. not seen... It's the only movie out this week I haven't seen, so I defer to you, good sir. Okay. Uh, it's the second one. It's not as good as the first one, if you've seen the first one. And if you have no idea it's not what like we're going Slap on Shot about. 2 in comparison to Slapshot. <laughs> I got that reference. <laughs> right? It's not quite that bad a deal. It's more like Major League 2 in comparison it's, to Major League. It's mm -hmm. a bit like... Sean William Scott hasn't done a film in a very long time, and now we know why. Oh, that's, I mean, that's not, harsh. Oh, that's he's, not he's, he's kind. He's good in it. He's like he's very good as Doug. Doug Glatt is a, is a very likable character. And by the I way, think everybody who is in it is quite good. He's a nice man. Um, oh yeah, just, I'm sure he is a lovely man. The story just hasn't got the depth the first one has. The hidden heart isn't quite there. Um, Doug is still a very, very lovable character. Um, you just can't help but like the innocence of this man that beats the crap out of people for a living. But at the same time, seems to be the friendliest, most loving dude on the planet. Um, Again, another person I would like to meet, the real-life Doug guy that it was kind of based on. Okay. He it, would, that would be pretty cool. Kind of an amalgamization of about two or three people. Yeah, but there's like one person specifically, and I can't think of and his name. And every hockey but... portion of the world thinks it's based on them. Uh, <laughs> I saw it. Uh, I but saw Jay Baruchel like, obviously came up with the story for the first one and it was produced, but he didn't direct. But he, had, he has directed the second one. And it just feels like this story was just a little bit more forced than the first one. There's, again, I don't think there was as much heart because it was obviously a passion project for him the first time. Mm -hmm. And now it, was a, it feels more like a chance to cash in. Right, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Um, it still feels like it's in that world. Lee Schreiber is still very, very good, as he generally is. Oh, Alison Pill's not in it as much as she was in the first one. Um, which is to its detriment, because the relationship there is kind of a lot of the heart of the story. Yeah, and, and kind of the, the beginning of it, you from what goes on, you would expect her to be in it a lot. And then it gets all a little bit Mighty Ducks. Yeah. Which is no bad thing, surely. No, but you don't want mighty ducks. You want slapshot. You want and, and you want hardcore <laughs> hockey yeah. beating the shit out of each other. It just gets... Mildly put. You know. Like, there's a <laughs> there's a bad guy and he kind of looks like a bad guy. And like, it's very it, stereotypical. Yeah, it does fall One-dimensional. Yeah, it does fall into that trope. So, whereas I thought the first one was an absolute hidden gem, like, for me, it was a five all day long. Like, mm. This is at best sort of a enjoyable two and a half stars. So like a oh, five out of ten. But, okay. you know, kind of like the Mighty Duck sequels, you still kind of enjoy them, but you know it's not as good as the first one. Like Major League Two, you still kind of enjoy it, but it's not yeah. a patch on the first one. You get that a lot in sports movies, unfortunately. Like the sequels very rarely compare to the yeah. original. Yeah. Um, for whatever reason, because I think people write these things out of passion projects and out of something amazing that was happened in real life, and then when they're forced to write a sequel, they've got to sort of come up with something of their own, and it's never nothing's ever quite as interesting as real life. No, and you when you're a passion project, you're just writing and writing and writing and yeah. writing. Whereas where you're, you know, it's like one for when you, one for them, isn't it? Yeah, when, when you're, you're when you're like, right, write. I've got a deadline, I've got to fill all this content, and um, it's a very different yeah, I was, approach. I, I enjoyed it, but I was. Like disappointed because of how much I loved the first film. Mm. So, um, kind of a bit of a letdown. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Um, worth a watch if it appears on Netflix. Don't spend your money on it. Buy the first one. Buy the first watch one. That. Watch that. Watch the first one. That. Over uh, and over and over and over again. Yeah, Amazing. watch the first one again, and then it's Goon Two. Watch it once and then watch it again. 
<laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Other than that, um, we'll very, very quickly just talk about Wind River before we move on to the, the big thing. Uh, Wind River is a very, very good kind of murder mystery story, uh, which is written and directed by Taylor Sheridan, who most recently did Hell or High Water and was the writer of Sicario for Denise Villeneuve. So both these films, uh, Sicario is a solid five, Hell or High Water is a solid five. Uh, this, I would say, is a strong four. Wind River sounds like chronic diarrhea. <laughs> no, it's that not that. That sounds a little bit gross, it's, it's, doesn't it? But just because oh. I, I want to I move, I'm, I can't help wind myself. Wind River. I want to move. Uh, <laughs> Let rip and it just all sprayed everywhere. <laughs> Wind River. <laughs> no, it's not that, and it doesn't induce feelings of diarrhea. But actually, that's a very strong story. That's good um, to know. Yeah, it is a good strong story. It starts Jeremy Renner and Elizabeth Olsen, and of course, uh, previously together in the Avengers universe. A lot um, of people are saying this is like the film of the year. Do you agree with that? I don't think it's the film of the year because that's Baby Driver. I think Baby Driver's the film, probably, yeah. Okay. The film of the year. As long as we're, we're clear with that. It's okay. a, no, no, no. no it <laughs> seems to be the, the film of the year. So, the, no, the, no, no, that's Baby Driver. I think it's... In other countries, this movie was released a, a few weeks ago, and, and therefore that wave of positive press is now making its way over here. Uh, I think the problem that Wind River's going to have in this country is that it's been f overshadowed by something much larger that we'll talk about in a minute, uh, which is a real shame, because it is a really good yeah, yarn. It brings me back to my point... It's a really cinema. good, yeah. It's a really good murder mystery yarn. Cinema, a really strong film. As people know, it is dying. They need to stop releasing stuff like this onto the big screen. It's not going to make its money there. It's not. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's the last six weeks of proof. The summer used to be the time to release a film. Mm. Yeah. Summer blockbusters. It's a term. Summer blockbuster. Which is interesting because this movie takes place in snow. Like, the whole movie is... It's yeah, generally you have a movie about snow, you've got to release that shit in the winter, people go and see it. Yeah. It's, I don't know why they It's will, very, will. very, very snowy. It's it's yeah, a cold you movie. You don't want to be depressed in the middle of summer. Like releasing, you don't no, want to be it's like watching releasing cold a beach stuff. movie at Christmas. It's got, a, like, yeah, a seven feel. It's yeah. a real dark kind of movie in that respect. And it's it's in that... Because you go... I know, I know this is all psychological, but you go into a, a movie theatre... In the summer, you've got no coat on, and then you sit and watch a movie that's. I bet you're sitting there shivering. Yeah, because you're just there's snow on the screen. Oh, oh, we live Jesus. in a time where it's, everybody's yeah. got a cinema in their house. It's not we like do. it was 20 years ago, where everyone had at most a 20 inch screen that the whole family huddled around, and there were no films unless it happened to be Christmas. Mm. But you know, um, and you only had like four videos that you could watch because that was all you had. <laughs> but now it's the case of everybody's got roughly a 15 inch TV screen somewhere in their house a lot of mm. people have got surround sound systems a lot of people but just about everybody's got like Netflix or Amazon you know some kind of streaming service it's very easily like accessible Hulu and, and nicely priced stuff. yeah right so now they've got a ridiculous amount of choice why do they need to go out to the cinema to watch something like that when there's 50 something like that in front of them whereas stuff like your Guardians of the Galaxy and um film we're about to talk about now and like mm -hmm. you, you know Thor's going to take all the money you know Star Wars is going to take the money people will pay and go, pay to see spectacle mm -hmm. they, won't they won't pay to see a murder mystery when generally you can get that stuff from TV now as TV shows done oh, like so much better because of all the uh, Scandinavian stuff and everybody else started adapting that style and murder mysteries got really gritty and all the rest of it you know, stuff like Broadchurch and things like that is generally better than anything they're going to see on TV. Or they can just wait and get it on Netflix. They're not going to pay to go and see it. Mm. Uh, that's the sort of thing they will wait to watch. And I'm, I'm not saying this is a good thing. I'm just saying it's a thing. And that's what Wind River's got to compete with. That and obviously being in this country up against a larger titan at the cinema and this people weekend. People will pay to see the spectacle. They won't yeah. pay to see the... Whereas in America... Well, it could be an amazing movie. Yeah, in America, I think it was released a couple of weeks earlier when there was nothing else around. So obviously, yeah. it, it it picked up on a, a strong audience and very strong critical praise. And like I said, I I think it is a good movie. I think it's a good strong movie. It's a very solidly written story, and that again just comes back down to Taylor Sheridan's writing. He's a really good writer, yeah. and and the stuff for like Hell or High Water. That's a movie I could watch again and again and again. Uh, and so is Sicario, actually. So, yeah, they are good, strong stories, but they're, they're not spectacles on no, the... No, as I mean, you said, and I think you're right there. The majority yeah. of your fucking Oscar winners these days, that's why people don't really care about the um, Oscars anymore. It's because most people didn't see that shit yet because they haven't watched it on Netflix. Mm. 
you know, um, because, <laughs> all right, La La Land did really well. Yeah. Cinema, it did. It did really, really well. Yeah, it did it strong. Did, you know, strong take. But generally, out of the ten, it's ridiculous. It's ten now. Ten movies that gets nominated for Best Picture. Mm-hmm. Right, that's the one that did the strongest numbers. Like Moonlight, like fantastic movie, didn't do numbers. Yeah, I think it's fair. Like, until until after its, but its these award are, success. Yeah, until, yeah. yeah uh, but it's generally, got awards, people once want the to awards see it. there, it's, it's, it's cinema run is done, and people are going to watch it at home. Yeah, like Manchester by the Sea. I think Manchester Again, by the Sea was was in its phase from going from theatrical to home entertainment. When it again, all the like, movie critically or acclaimed, it? no one so. went to see it. Like it, well, not that no one went to see it. Like in comparison to the amount of people that went and saw Spider Man, no one went to see it. The percentages are like Large. one percent. Yeah, in you know, comparison. All right, this is a successful movie, but it doesn't do like best part of half a billion. <laughs> yeah, but this this opens up a very interesting. Whereas the summer used to be the time we side you'd combo. Get your, um, Big, big movies, and now you don't. And the other thing is, we live in uh, a generation where uh, for m- a movie's quality is judged on its bank, which has always been, actually, to be honest, has always been a problem throughout the ages, but, oh, it must be amazing. It took $100 million. Like, oh, it's great. Shit. Well, well no, actually, It just means there are a lot of people that want to see it. Generally, yeah. you've, sold, you've made your box office before the film comes out, whether that's a good box office or a bad box office. And that's because of the world we live in. There are 50,000 trailers for just about everything. Yeah. Uh, so people have long decided beforehand, whereas it used to be someone might see a poster or a TV trailer for it the couple of days before it came out. Yeah. And that isn't now there's anymore. Now there's the minimum so is people three go, trailers. Oh, that looks yeah. quite good. I'd quite like to see that. And then they would go. But now they've got six or seven I see pretty much most of the you films get a te- you get a te- yeah you get a teaser of a teaser then a teaser then a trailer then a final trailer how many times that's the, that's the how short how many times has a movie been and gone because I saw the trailer for it so long ago that I forget that it's coming out I did this with with Colossal actually and then it came and it went and I was like Bleh. yeah and you review films <laughs> it but literally just because you flew see the trailer past. so so long ago, mm. you sort of think, oh, I'll keep an eye out for that. But there's so much to keep an eye out for that you forget about it. It falls by the lace wayside. It has got to a kind of new level of crazy. I'm not saying this is good. I'm just saying it's the fact. Whereas something like um, a Marvel movie, people will remember the date. Star Wars, people will remember the date because yeah. it's spectacle, and they will pay to see spectacle. Tentpole, yeah. tentpole movies, marquee movies. Yeah. Which brings us on to. It. Now, to what? It. To what? The movie. It. What movie? It. What? (laughs) And that's the problem with the title. (laughs) Speak to Stephen King about that. Yeah. See, you can. That this is this is where it. it, 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 It's uh, you find yourself stumbling over the word it. It. Because and and interestingly, this has been a huge success for Warner Brothers, who essentially you kind of feel for them in a way because they had to market a movie with just two letters, uh, and the, the, it's one of the commonly most commonly used words ever. Yes, but this movie really didn't need very much marketing. No, it's mar- it, the fact that on its day of release, its trailer broke trailer records. It did indeed. And that becomes from the original trailer, which happened in the 90s and was three hours long over two nights. <laughs> <laughs> which has stuck in people's minds. People talk about that movie like... It, uh, sorry, but, but, but the mini TV, series. TV miniseries. The miniseries. Like yeah. it's the scariest thing that ever happened. That's no, the thing, isn't it? It's not. Yeah, but no, this is the thing, if though. You, they if do. You, As if a you're child, British, it was. Yeah, if you're British, you will talk about... Three things that if you're British and you grew up in the '80s, sorry, you would talk about three things on British television or at the movies or on video that terrified you as a child. One of them is The Exorcist. I know you don't agree with this, but The Exorcist. Generally. The other one is Ghost Watch, 
and Stephen King's It. I would have had Watcher, to, Watcher in the Woods at that. Oh, point. Watcher in the Woods as well. Actually, no, sorry, four things. No, you're right, yeah. Watcher in the Woods. When yeah, Disney really crazy. pushed the fucking yeah. envelope. It's funny as you like to watch now. It's funny as you want, like to watch now. If you haven't seen Watcher in the Woods, give it a watch. It's like Betty Davis. Is it Betty Davis? Betty Davis is in that movie, like, yeah. Like crazy old bitch and she is in that film. Yeah. Like, and it's... What do you mean just in that film? Anyway. anyway particularly I, in that film. <laughs> It's really, really cool. I'm getting off the subject, but no, go watch that. Yeah, it's funny, it. but it's scary. As, as, as a kid, that was terrifying. And yeah. to think they gave that PG. I used to have nightmares PG. just if yeah. someone mentioned it. They gave that I'd never PG. Seen it, but, but was it you? Yeah, but that was the, that was it the was, imagery. It was, yeah, it was the imagery and it was kind of, there was, it, not a myth, but it was kind of the story that kids were, you know, it was the scariest film in the history of the world. It you know, if you watched posters. it, you were really like, it played on two posters, both with a white background, with Tim Curry sort of coming at an angle, either smiling as Pennywise, or as the transformed... Yeah. Black Penny. That, that, those two images were enough to, to sell a movie lifetime. completely. You have it here, don't you? Let's, yeah. get, let's get the imagery up. There it is. There we go. Those two contrasting images were enough to sell people on this current movie. Combined with the zeitgeist of Stranger Things last year, mm -hmm. this is coming out around about a perfect time. I think it should have come out after Stranger Things season yep. two. I think by then people would have just been clawing at the cinema doors to get in. Well, this is the thing because it didn't have the st in terms of reception, it didn't have the strongest start because everybody has nostalgia and memories of being absolutely terrified by the brilliant Tim Curry as Pennywise. So when the idea, the very idea that Andy and Barbara Muschietti were going to make this movie was... I confess. Yeah. I confess. And then, and then we watched it, didn't we? We, we watched it again. And yeah, we, we like, watched it. You know what, this could probably do with a... Well, not do with a do, brush yeah. up. <laughs> but, but there's always, there, there's always in your mind, again, Tim Curry was the standout. That yeah, film. his Tim Curry. His yeah. his needs his, no further explanation. His Pennywise was Kiss me fat boy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you that, want a balloon? And that's what scared me. <laughs> Can you find someone? Hiya, Georgie. That's going to be as scary as Tim Curry. <laughs> did they find someone? They did. Bill Skarsgård, one of the clan of, of Hemlock Grove, one of the clan of many Skarsgårds who are all bloody marvelous at what they do. Alexander uh, and of course. Dad, Stellan. Stellan, is Stella. We love Stellan Skarsgård. We love all the Skarsgårds because... Yeah, there's currently like three brothers acting. There's another one about to start acting. There's there are like when... ten children or something. It's a lot. Like, yeah. Bill was saying uh, in an interview recently that um, he's got a lot of siblings and they. it's kind of a thing apparently with them. They're kind of like, when we grow up, we all want to be like Dad. Yeah. So it's there's nice, <laughs> like a factory of really solid talent coming out of the Skarsgård family. And... Here's a good thing, because I think everybody's biggest issue, not issue, but curiosity with it was, is Bill Skarsgård going to do it? And he must have known that coming into That's this thinking. That's a lot of pressure, I would think. Wow, yeah. like big clown size shoes to fill. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, Sorry, everyone's used that pun, it's fine. Yeah, it's, 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 but they, <laughs> but are, it's they, true. they are big shoes to fill. And he, you know, coming into that, I could only imagine what kind of pressure he felt. But at the same time, it's also about making it his own because Pennywise in the 80s was very much Tim Curry. Yeah. And all of his kind of, you know, he, he's yeah, working to the book, but also he's doing his thing. It was the 90s. And whereas, so Bill also, and the other thing about um, Andy Muschietti is that he, that he was very, very cautious of the book. Like he was very... Um, Good. And the miniseries. So he took all these things <laughs> into account before he set off and, and, and went on to. And in... In his own words, the only thing he really changed was the timeline in which he's set because the original, uh, the kids are in 59, is it? 58? 1958? Uh, yeah, it would be. Whereas this movie is the children are it's in... 27 years before the book came out, so yeah, it probably yeah. would be. So 1988 and 1989 is where this movie is set and the children are now... I don't think that's a, a no major because, issue. as Keith said, it's a good way as well of jump, you know, getting involved in the, with TV the series, they, did, they did it like thirty years. Yeah, it was twenty-seven years in the book, which they apparently were which into. now has been translated into the movie. Yeah, it's twenty-seven years in the movie, and which is weird because Jonathan Brand has killed himself at twenty-seven. Ooh, right, no. it's weird. There's more connections than that. If you add up all the dates of the release, uh, all, all, all the numbers of the release date, 
mm-hmm. of this movie, it comes to 27. Ooh. Spooky. I like that. Werewolf Bob Mitchell. It might be why they've released it when it is. There is a lot of 27s in, yeah, this, this in, is the, a... in the book and in the TV series, and I imagine there probably is in this movie as well. And there's a lot of spooky stuff, isn't why? there, related to the number 27 mm-hmm. also. But yeah, this, this is um, very thoughtful of the source material like he's he's the hugest fan and, and again going back to kind of recent interviews with Annie he was saying that you know Stephen King essentially influenced him as a director as a filmmaker anyway as a as a fan of Stephen King and reading Stephen King's books clearly as a younger man <laughs> but no as a, as a you know it, creatively like he's a huge fan of, of King's books and so therefore yeah. he's going to be very careful it's like you directing a, Steve, a movie based on a Stephen King but you're going to be ultra cautious of the source material well, because every, you love his work everybody is trying to si- sign Stephen King stuff at the moment mm. again off the back of Stranger, Stranger things. things which is funny because it isn't a Stephen King story no but the <laughs> writing put it in everybody's mind yeah yeah uh, um, because they wanted to make a, a movie uh, uh, they wanted to make a show didn't they that Looked felt like, like it was written by Stephen, Stephen King, King directed by uh, Spielberg, Spielberg and, and scored, scored by, by John, John Carpenter, Carpenter. Yeah. and they did great that. and they did exactly that and like so because then we had like Dark Tower which was crap like it was alright but it should have been a TV series apparently it still might be a TV series like that's how badly yeah, this is done they're already bringing like, a TV it. series like so, <laughs> it's going to start again already. Um, and then there's a. Uh, the stand is apparently back up on the running. Oh, okay. Um, there's Gerald's Game, which is on Netflix. Like, that's coming. Mm-hmm. Um, which is about um, some kinky sex gone wrong. So, give that a watch. Ooh! Like, handcuffed to the bed and someone dies and it's sort of stuck there. It all gets creepy. Start seeing stuff in the dark. Pretty good book. Um, what else has been uh, greenlit? Greenlit. There's, there's, oh, there's. I think like Rose Madder may have done. Um, yeah, generally there's a load, and I imagine there's going to be a few more remakes. I imagine that uh, Sleepwalkers, Tommy Knockers. Did they do Firestarter again recently? I can't remember. I don't think so. I know they did Carrie, didn't they? Yes. So maybe like Firestarter. Um, Chloe Grace Moretz. Yeah. 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 It wasn't a bad. I imagine bad all remake. of those, like Christine, I imagine all of those are ripe somewhere for someone to remake. They probably should get done. Because uh, a lot of those ones from the uh, 80s, 80s era. and 90s, a lot of the TV movies or the like Odyssey, Anchor Bay style stuff, like it was crap. Um, entertaining enough crap, but it was crap. Um, and probably deserves a better chance at selling it now mm. that people know how to make these things. Which uh, is what has happened with it. Uh, it. Go on. But back to my original question. Which was? That was asked about ten minutes ago. Go on. Does Bill Skarsgård yeah, do the well, job? I, I, yes. I need, I need to yes. know. And yes, yeah, he does. He makes, so he make, he I makes need this. To know about he makes this entirely his own, and that's what's interesting about it. Right down to the point where some of his his um, natural accent is is in this, rather than kind of going the English route or the American route. His accent is kind of a mixture of all of those, which I think adds to that character because Pennywise, obviously, if you if you know the the universe is not any one thing. Pennywise is, no, is, a, mal- is a clown. Is, is just one version of it. You know, it, it has it's shape shifting and it does all these kind of cool things. Uh, but it, as Pennywise, he is inherently creepy. Like from they've they've honoured the kind of previous incarnation with the Victorian kind of clown suit. The makeup's amazing, and they've given him that, as you pointed out earlier in an earlier conversation, that baby look. Mm. Like he looks. Cheruby. Yeah, Cheruby. And he's got the little goofy teeth when he's when he's not doing the thing. He's got like little cute goofy teeth. He's like, Do you want a balloon? And stuff like that. So it's kind of but I think the kind of guttural accent adds to the creepiness. Mm. Like that whole thing where he says, I'm Pennywise the dancing clown. Like it's like, whoa, that's oh right, yeah. So he he does that very well. But what they get to do with this that they didn't get to do because of 
you know, for whatever reason, restraints. Call it, they, call yeah, it, they, call <laughs> technical it, technical reasons, budgetary reasons. We are talking about a TV miniseries, and a lot of people forget that as well. Everybody says, "Oh, the original movie." There was no original movie, no. and that is something we keep mulling over. Because people are going, "Oh, yeah, but they made a movie of that." Well, they didn't. They made a miniseries. This has never been a people, cinematic most film. Most people before. saw it on. VHS yeah. Or yeah. So all DVD. as one, and it was yeah. It's a, you watched it as a three-hour thing, and it felt like a movie because it was on video, yeah. and you put it in the player or DVD later, and then Blu-ray. But it's not that. It's t- it's a television show in two parts. That's what it is. And this this is still part one of two parts. And but differently, rather than doing the whole thing where they go from adults flashback to kids and then come back to adults again, none of that is present. It's it's squarely focused on the children and the relationship the losers have amongst each other, and mm. it stays in that era. It doesn't move from that era, which is interesting in itself. Yeah, it feels like, it feels like the Goonies. It feels like Stranger Things. It feels like all those things that you loved about those kind of 80s coming-of-age adventure stories. It feels very much like that. Good. Apart from there's a fucking terrifying clown running around after them, uh, which he's brilliant. He's absolutely brilliant. And he gets to do a lot more with that than Tim Curry would have been able to because of their restraints and restrictions at the time. You get to see things now. It's not left to the imagination for whatever reason. You get to fully realise all these children's fears from their viewpoints, which makes it utterly all the more terrifying. So you've got... That kind of, you know, the recent jump scare kind of phase that movies have been going through, the insidious and paranormal activity. You get all that stuff. So if you are a fan of those movies, and you're not, I'm not. I'm, <laughs> no, really but you've am. got to cater to that yeah. audience as well. And you know, I love there is, them. There, there's going to be an audience to go and see this movie that don't understand yeah, previous. The Five Night at Freddy's of like yeah, they they movies. the younger generation them. that don't know anything about yeah. this and they just want to go for a jump scare horror movie. They get looked after because there are elements of this movie there fucking jump scary but but there's layers and layers and layers what those movies I just talked about don't have a layers of story interesting yeah. characters things you can get emotionally invested but that's what in. you can always guarantee when someone redoes a Stephen King yeah. they're getting as long as they do it good they're getting a good story with yeah it. and it comes up you know it does come up for air you do get the softer moments with the kids and it's funny and there's comedy amongst them because they're kids they're four, 13, 14 year old kids they're going to say some funny shit and they do no controversial like child sex though um, mass orgy I don't want to spoil it there's no mass orgy no <laughs> no spoiling <Okay. laughs> no don't, don't want to spoil the child porn for people no 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 <laughs> No, there is, there is a, sorry, there isn't, right, let me explain myself. There is a thread uh, throughout this movie that there is some kind of sexual abuse going on between two characters. Uh, and it's dealt with uh, delicately, yeah, but not. I talk about anything about sexual abuse. I talked about orgies shagging each other, which they do in the book. Okay, no, no, there's no children having The great way to separate people who have read the book, the people who haven't. You mention that and they go, it's like, yeah, you lied, you didn't read the book. Because <laughs> you read that for the first it's time so and you're like, "What the fuck?" You, yeah. <laughs> you don't, you don't get that out of your head, unfortunately. Yeah, there are no children having sex with each other in this movie. I'm pleased Ew. to report. Yeah, uh, but there is obviously, yeah, there is that other story thread going on about you know sexual abuse and and that's dealt with quite harshly. But it's there, you know, like we're going back to South Park. It's a very real thing. It happens. Yeah. Um, and it and it needs to be dealt with in that way in, in terms of awareness drawn to it because these things are still yeah, going on yeah, present yeah, day yeah, yeah, yeah. and other horrible things like racism and other stuff which King covers in the book and yeah. are also translated here to the screen and I think coming back around to how faithful it is to the book I've not read it you have but I think that you will find that it's very loyal to the book uh, because you get obviously more... they can't fit everything in and this, no, is, this no, is the no, problem with films that come from books yeah. Yeah. especially Stephen King ones because they're so long it, they are, it is, <laughs> it's a, a huge book thing. of course it's going to be two movies but of course to, it's going to be yeah, two trying parts. to fit everything in from like a hundred thousand million page book you can't fit into like 90 minutes yeah. I might have exaggerated no, the size no, of the it, book there then, is a lot but... there is a lot of no no <laughs> I wouldn't do that no 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 there are a lot of like you say you know t-shirt moments where you're going oh or like that. and that's, this good. that's what you want this was always going to be a two part movie yeah of course it, it should, it should be, be. it was yeah. always going to be two movies there was the no way the second trailer and I didn't see in the dark I said oh look they're going to do it in two parts of course they are like it made perfect sense I actually thought when I, I the first images I saw of Bill Skarsgård I didn't 
obviously once you see the movie you see he's you know reasonably tall but because we only had those images of him in the sewer drain with the little baby teeth i thought it was going to be a midget. it was going to be like he was going to be like more baby like to appeal to the children and then be more something else in the adult, arms like you know what this. I mean. Appear differently to the adults than he does. I don't know what's going on over there, but he would appear more childlike as a clown to yeah. the children. That kind of that kind of um, worked, but obviously once once you see the movie, you'll see that he's, you know, he's quite actually quite tall and. Oh, it's been tall. Generally, Pennywise is whatever you're afraid of. Yeah, as as, as is it. the book. It, yeah, it, it isn't a clown. It it's, is. It's it, your it, fear, it, isn't it? The, it can be a werewolf. It can be like. Um, a creepy neighbour. It, it could can be, a, be a leper. It can be like a, a a weird priest. It can be a teacher. An abusive father. Yeah, it's, it, you know, yeah, so, it's all of that, and it's yeah, so it is yeah. more than a clown, which is often a lot of people mistake it. For. And there is a. F- it isn't called clown. It's called it. Fuck ton more blood in this movie than there was in the till he's the end of the movie. Oh, yeah. Is that a metric? A a metric. Oh, there is a lot more gore. Isn't I can't it? wait to see it. Is it is it worth the watch? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, to be honest with you, I quite like to watch it again. So there's your review, really. <laughs> I'd, 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 love, go wrong with I'd love to go and watch it again, actually. But just to see, because of what Stephen King himself said recently, that he had to watch it twice because there were things he missed the first time round. In fairness, had. though, he does have very, very thick glasses. <laughs> <laughs> but you know a movie that's is, set in is, his universe very failing eyesight it's well documented that, yeah. that he you know something that he's written it was from his universe that he wanted to pick over it and see it two times in a row because he is very to, vocal about his opinions on this he is so on if, any yeah. project we're not, I'm not just hyping you right now if this thing was fucking terrible he would have told you by now yeah. oh big time yeah, uh, he would have had his name struck off not, it he would have yeah. had anything to do with it he'd be all over everything just going oh no this is a piece of shit this isn't what I wrote this has got nothing yeah. to do with me at all and I think and that's, it, I think that's how you can kind of gauge as well. Yeah. And there are a lot of haters. There were a lot of haters when it was oh, announced. A lot. And, and I think yeah. Andy and Barbara probably went through a lot of internet shit when they first announced it. But now, gladly, Everyone looking at the current them. box office, it is rising by the hour. It's like heading for like ninety hundred million dollars right now. So yes, I think they should be happy and I think they should be proud of what they've achieved. They've done it great justice and there's a lot of people like us of our generation that are going to come out of that movie going satisfied lovely so there we go cool cool i'm definitely going to go and see that then tv news is very short there's nothing on um <laughs> taskmaster starts on wednesday yes. series five so give oh. It a go. oh amazing also actually i don't know if you guys no. have you got okay. the, i only remembered this yesterday because it it appeared on on metalli box but uh tin star starring tim roth is it Tin Star? I think yeah, it's called Tin Star. Um, is apparently Sky Never Atlantic heard exclusive it. in this country? But no. Preacher, Sky Atlantic finished. Preacher was very good. Sky Atlantic uh, have done that Twin thing. Twin Peaks finished. Twin Peaks was very odd. Um, what else finished? Obviously, Game of Thrones finished. Quite a week ago. I'm still depressed about that. Um, <laughs> well, everything finished. You uh, you talking just about like a couple of weeks where everything starts getting going again? Netflix set the trend, and you were talking about you know everything's moving in that direction. Sky have decided to follow suit by having this 10 episode TV show with Tim Roth in that is a Sky exclusive and you can watch all episodes now on, oh, on Sky Digital. Oh, that should be quite interesting then. So they're, you know, trying to up their is. game a little bit there and catch up with Amazon and Netflix. Too little too late. Yeah, a bit, I've, I've not seen it yet, but I'm going to I'm gonna chew over it this weekend see if it's any good. It's 10 episodes. It's Tim Roth, he's usually good value for money and it is a revenge story. Yeah. So Ooh, that, that sounds interesting. There's something for you to watch. Tin Star. Give that Probably a look. Still using tin Star, not Sky Tin News. Star. I think it's Sky. It must be on other networks. It's probably on countries. like their Now thing, isn't it? It's, now TV, it's probably on their Now TV. Yeah, so it's on, it's on Sky. It's on your... Uh, if you go to Skybox sets... It's there, and in fact, if you just boot up your Skybox this weekend, it will be there, and there's a big. It will be there waiting press for this you. Button, you can watch all ten episodes right now, which is obviously a Netflix Amazon model. Uh, but like you say, t- is it too little, too late? Yeah, that way of viewing stuff is see. dying. I'm guessing. The, 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 I'm guessing they've got it exclusive though. From the fact that nobody heard of it, I keep mentioning it to people. Going, did you know? And they I've go, what? Not heard of it at all. Tim Roth show? What? No, yeah, never heard of it. They've obviously got it exclusive, but yeah, I mean, it's going to be. He was in Twin Peaks. I yes, love Tim Roth. He was. I will watch anything. Everyone with Tim was, Roth in. was with, uh, which is what I, I was sold. Was they were like, "There's a new Tim Roth show," and nobody told me what it was about. I just went, "Yep, yeah, I'm in." <laughs> 
but yeah, so that's that's happening. Uh, and personally, on a TV front, I've just been catching up with other stuff that's already happened. Well, this is kind of a good time to with stuff yeah, finishing Westworld. and waiting for new stuff to start again. Um, well, it's a perfect just... time to catch up on all the all the stuff. That yeah, I've only just really discovered happened. Westworld, so I'm a bit late for that boat. <laughs> It's all right. um, but yeah, it's quite cool, isn't it? Yeah, I liked Westworld. You didn't but so much, did you? I quite liked really? it. No, I don't. No, I, I just did, couldn't I get it into good. it. Um, the ending was excellent, and the strain. Season three of that has recently become available, and I'm, I know there's like four seasons. I think so I need I'm, to catch up on that as well, though. Yeah, I'm getting there with that. Uh, yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. Uh, Unfortunately, just not a lot on TV at the moment. No, it's all it's all it's that time, Ooh. isn't it, where you catch up with things? Did Did I mention the Disney thing the other week? Which Disney thing? Oh, what, Disney Life? Yeah. Ah, no. oh, Disney Life. Okay, right, yeah. I recently, I'm a massive Disney fan. Well, I talked about Gravity Falls last week, though, didn't I? So you I did, in great detail. I fucking detail. love that. When I have a child, it's going to be like Mabel. <laughs> I just want to make her like Mabel. We've got Ruben Hooks on it as well. Gravity but, Falls. Um, yeah. yeah, no, recently por- per- uh, purchased Disney purchased. Life, like okay. a fiver, and you get everything that they've ever done in a streaming service. It's not quite everything. They've done. Pretty it's, much, it's, though. It's, Nowhere it's near. a but shit it's, ton. They've then. done so much that nowhere near. Okay. It's still, it's still it's, a lot. It's a shit ton of stuff. <laughs> yeah, um, and it's brilliant because it's got all the old stuff right up to now. Um, so this is TV shows got, and movies. You've got movies. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Also soundtracks. soundtracks. Soundtracks on your phone. Um, also um, yeah, books, you get an app with it. And games. Which yeah, you can loads of different game um, books that kids can read. It's got loads of documentaries they've done over the years to do with the films is this in conjunction with them pulling a lot of their stuff from Netflix which I is odd because so. that was the report but there's a load of stuff going to Netflix like in the next month hmm so I don't I'm right not really sure know. on that one yeah Maybe I mean it makes sense if they want to have their own streaming service because they can yeah, they've because got they've enough, got enough yeah. content. Biggest film company in the world, right? They've now. got enough mm. license. They have yeah. got enough stuff to quantify it. Between it's... like Marvel, Star Wars, and their own catalogue. Yeah, I mean all of Lucasfilm. Don't forget they own indie now as well. Yeah, it's it's crazy, and there's, it's not just that. There's also like the old Touchstone movies on there, and mm-hmm. all that you can get like Father of the Bride and. Mm-hmm. Uh, Three men and a late, little lady. Going back lady. to not making family movies anymore. Yeah, yeah. You so get to revisit that. Yeah, no, it's it's it nice. It. It's got. Some what prop- you watch that like, Jungle to Jungle, didn't we? With yeah, Tim it's like just that. good fun <laughs> stuff, you know. Yeah, it's, it's if bad, if you're it? in one of those, George of the Jungle with the Brendan Fraser. Yeah, with the Brendan Fraser. With the, <laughs> Brendan, with the Brendan Fraser. I love that movie. He's the coffee. I love that movie. I really liked it. It's because at some point. Throughout your day, there's something on there that you could watch. Or listen to. Or yeah. listen to, or play, or... Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 and it's it, it's not just great for kids, it's great for adults. Too. And for a, so, fi- for a five or a month... So if you're walking to work and you want to listen you, to the Pocahontas soundtrack yeah, again, there you are. Exactly. We've started watching Gravity Falls again. Because no, you can. No less than and, and I'm gonna, we finish watching it, we start watching it again. For um, five <laughs> great British pounds as well. I mean, yes. to be honest, it costs you three times that for just one Disney movie on Blu-ray. And honestly, we know exactly. it's like about four or five different things Yeah. in just the space of two episodes. Yeah. I'm going to be making a, a... This is how much I love Mabel. I'm going to be making a, a Mabel jumper blanket of all the different designs of her jumper. Okay. So, so once that's, that's done, it's a project though, so it's going to take yeah. a while. But once it's done, I'll, I'll bring it along yeah, and go. Awesome. Here it is. So our review of Disney Life then is two thumbs. Fucking, yeah, fucking two thumbs love up. it. It's worth a five a month. Without a doubt. <laughs> <laughs> fucking I'm, awesome. I'm pretty certain Mush. they're not going to put that on any of their marketing uh, posters. I fucking but love it. I fucking <laughs> love it, Mish. No. Oh. Uh, it's spectacularly excellent. It's, yes. I think would work nicely. It's, it's awesome. It's pretty great. Because Disney. Awesome plus. Step inside the Disney universe at just five of your shekels. Yes. <laughs> Do it. Five pieces of eight. Yeah, five. Uh, there are obviously different price tariffs vary in differing countries. Yeah. Again, I but, don't um, know what. I'm sure it will be great value for are. money in the US as well. Yes. Whatever. So yeah, we like that. We like that very much. So yeah, if you're waiting for uh, to watch something in the meantime, and you want to catch watch up on stuff, Disney. just get into Disney. Because let's face it, you you know every day can end happy. It won't be available on all exactly. devices, but if you've got an Amazon Fire Stick, you can get it on that. Uh, I imagine it's probably the same for a lot of the uh, Fire uh, 
like Fire TV and also the other like Now TV boxes and things like that. It's probably a lot of those. Yeah. It's not on um, any of the consoles as of yet, but it will be coming to those consoles. And um, you, as again, you can definitely get as an app on iOS and on Androids. Okay. Uh, and I don't think it's on a lot of TV's own smart options yet, but again, it will it's, be coming. I say, it's quite new, so they've still got a lot. Give it a year, it'll they're possibly working be on, as yeah. essential as your Netflix or Amazon account, and I imagine they're going to start appearing up, up just as much as that, and they'll only get more content, because it's not like Disney's just going to stop. Also, if, you, you know, if you're watching a long series and some pretty dark shit, like it's just something same, to watching The Strain, uh, watching West Wing, West Wing's pretty fucking dark, Watching any shit like that, you could just end your I viewing like experience. Disney taking my money, it occurred to me the other day that watch I'm going to have to buy Star Wars again. You are going to have to watch uh, buy Star Wars again. Yes, you are. Yeah, I'm going to have to buy a whole box set with it. There. You already have okay. two copies of Force Awakens. I can't say anything on this matter, can I? Yeah, it's we worked it out right. Again, this is just boring shit, but it's interesting for us. Right, <laughs> I had all three Star Wars on Betamax. You did. Um, He's and then, old. Then I had them on VHS because we no longer had a Betamax player, but we got them on VHS. Right. This is why I start catching. And then up. I had the digitally remastered VHS, the, the first digitally remastered, and then they released them in widescreen. So then I had them again. Right. And then I had the uh, golden and silver box sets. Because one was widescreen, the other one wasn't. Yeah, plus the second one I got signed by Admiral Oswald. You did. I remember when you did that. <laughs> right, so that's seven. And we're only at the special editions. Fuck you, old. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's it doesn't say anything that he's a good collector. He's just fucking old. Trilogy. Yep. All right. I didn't get them on Laserdisc. Never had a Laserdisc player. There are actually two copies of Paul Swayman's behind you. Yeah, okay. So, oh, there we go. And then I got them on that. the DVD special edition box sets. There we are. So that's eight. And then they released them... With the original trilogies, but not the special edition, so both of them together. So that was nine, right? And then I bought them on Blu-ray as a box set. So, so yeah, so that's ten times. That's a lot of Star Wars. That's ten times I bought the original trilogy. It's going to be eleven. It's going to be eleven within two years. Well, in just over two years. Eleven. That's eleven lots of... Swing thirty and what was this book? I've got to get it out. Think now. about it. I'm going to buy. I'm going to buy. <laughs> I'm going to buy the final trilogy this. at least a few times. This, like, this was a, this this was a pretty penny, wasn't it? Yes, I, I got that day of release. So this you're going to have to basically buy again because this is now lying. It's not a complete saga, That's is it? Correct, but that makes it kind of a collectible oddity. It does. <laughs> So yeah, um, it's no longer a complete saga. It's also no longer distributed by Fox. I almost feel though. Oh like, yeah, there's that. Oh, that's why you've kept all those up there. Now I get it. Yeah. I almost variant. I almost feel like I I need to beat you on this now. So what? You'll have eleven in the next two years. Uh, we're, we're, I, there's there's only one way you're ever going to do three that. Films. That's thirty-three films. Is Wizard of Oz is the only yeah, one. Yeah, and I'm thinking I need to find then like yeah, what yeah. they call Betamax. The only way you're ever going to do this is if right. you if you compete with Wizard of Oz because Wizard of Oz moment, is your Star Wars. Yeah, at the moment I have eight. Yeah. So if I can find a Betamax, that would be nine. I have it on video, and then yeah. the other like six are different versions. Wizard of Oz is definitely your Blu-ray. Star Wars. Yeah. In so comparison to him, but he'll buy every edition of Star Wars ever, and yet yeah. Wizard of Oz is yours. Yeah. I think. So we could see Mine is Bond. I'm the sa- exactly the same with Bond. Yes. I'm trying to stay away from those big ones. If I start with the big ones, then that's that's me done. Oh, the Blu-ray and DVD and digital in a vinyl cover. Yeah. Although they look fucking awesome. Oh, they look fantastic. But but no, away. no. That's no, a, that no. way danger lies. It's bad enough when I started collecting records again. I went from like. Zero <clears throat> records to thing is, uh, what we've got 130 records. There is a limit in the space of six months. I six reckon months though, months. they are quite limited, those final things. <clears throat> I reckon 200 quid, and you could probably have, own everything that is available right now. I have right a I, I have a Wizard of Oz vinyl, don't I? Mm. Two. There you That's go. Awesome. What have you collected? Yes. What do you buy Special everything ever of? 
like no matter how many times they release it, you go out there, you pay your money, and you get that edition of it. You don't it. want to, you just have to. There's yeah, nothing you can do about it. Everybody <clears throat> has their thing. Yeah. Mine's Bond, his is Star Wars, hers is Wizard of Oz. What's oh, yours? Yeah, Let us know uh, in the comments. I've owned all the Bonds. If, well, if yeah. you happen to have a Betamax copy VHS. of the Wizard of Oz, of Oz <laughs> I have rental copies me, of Bond. Just yeah. just send it to me. Poppy I'd be really grateful. Right. <laughs> <laughs> So so that's, us. that's us I think it is is that the end of our show don't forget to like share subscribe and masturbate you don't have to do it in that order no, you, you can switch you, you can switch it up a bit you yeah, can you masturbate can while masturbate you're and share it oh no because I'm thinking if you're masturbating while you're doing it that means that they're watching us while they're then that's a little bit creepy I'm okay with that yeah I'm, I'm good with that yeah, yeah makes I'm, sense I'm okay with people wanking off to me I always thought they were, anyway. We're, we're not ugly, are we? Behind my back. <laughs> <laughs> and on that merry note, on his thank back. You, thank you very <laughs> don't wank on my back and tell me it's raining. That's what that's thank what you very much. Firing those tramps just keep wanking on his back. Oh. Tramp wank on your back. <laughs> thank you very Tramp much wank. for watching. We will be back next week. He'll be back during the week, I'm sure, with more playthroughs and all. Homeless erotica. Or other excellentness. Yeah, that and definitely Destiny needs to be a new, <laughs> a new, new subsection of porn. I'm trying to homeless. sign this video off, homeless. and all this is going homeless. on the background. Can you yeah, believe I, like I have that. to deal with this on a regular basis? I can't believe oh, we do this. Just to me. Anyway, oh, oh, you could definitely have watch like his tram. Destiny Two videos because he's probably going to make loads of them. Oh yes, please. Give me money for crack. And you can have, like, you know, the tramps <laughs> that have the big long coats? Yeah? Just, um, they could anyway, be like shriekers. <laughs> and just have their big, yeah, just have their big long coats, but tramp ones. Tramp and then they just walk up and wank all over John's back. I can see that. I have seen that. It was graphic. Yeah, I need to go now, I think, as well. <laughs> John just became a Jackson Pollock. There was just blobs of shit everywhere. Well, not just but well, there was some shit. It was obviously came off the end. And it was just flying around and so much, so much jism. So much jism. I'm haunted by the jism. Haunted. <laughs>